there's a new trend now of people getting their DNA tested through testing sites like 23andMe. And on the surface, this can be very interesting. You can learn a lot about yourself. Sometimes you realize that your, your, your history does not match what your family history says that you are. And there have even been some really nice stories about people finding lost loved ones. And the way that it works is really simple. You order a kit, they send you the kit, you basically spit into a test tube, you send it in and you answer a lot of questions and then you wait for some period of time and you get the results. And some people get the test where it just tests for their ancestry, and then others get the test where it tests for their medical genomes and you can find out more about yourself medically. This all sounds great. Here's the problem. While this whole concept is a great idea and it sounds wonderful on the surface, there are some things you need to know before you decide to submit your DNA for this testing. The fantasy is that you submit your DNA for testing. They test only what you've asked for them to test. They give you and only you the results and then they destroy the sample and you know, don't ever give the results to anybody else. Unfortunately, that is not the reality. So your DNA will be in a DNA database. Now you might think, okay, that's a little weird, but how bad is that really? Because probably what they're doing is they're conglomerating, they're putting, the, they're putting this information together and they're doing some sorts of big tests. So they're saying, generally Americans have more of this type of genetic profile and maybe people in Europe have this type of genetic profile and maybe even they are conducting medical tests when I ha haven't asked them to do that and they're doing that same sort of studies, you know, like more people in Europe have this sort of marker and more people in South America have this sort of marker. There are some things that they can, will, and do with your DNA. They may destroy your sample, but what they do is they keep your data. It is tied to you and your contact information, and they can and do sell that information. How could that harm you? One of the things that we know, one of the places we know that they've sold the information to is health insurance companies. So you may or may not get a health insurance based on your DNA results, and you may get, um, a, or you may get a higher health insurance premium. This is the same for life insurance. You, in the future, you may or may not be able to get life insurance based on the diseases they think you are prone to getting based on their testing. There's even been talk that your genetic makeup could, could go along with your resume. That could be part of the evaluation for whether you get a job or not. This is what they're testing for now. We don't even know what they might be testing for in the future as this technology gets more and more advanced. What, they do, what we do know is that they've got your information on file. Furthermore, if you haven't submitted your DNA sample for testing, if you have a sibling or parents or children who have, a lot of your information can be inferred from that information. So you don't even have to submit your own sample to be at risk here. So you may be thinking this sounds a little paranoid. It does a little, but it is it does not go beyond what has been done in the past. People collect information on you on based on your computer, on your searching, they collect information on you based on your phone, where you are, and what information you have given and received. There is no reason to believe that people would not collect information on you based on your DNA samples. So why am I telling you this? just so you have the information. If you still want to do this testing, do the testing. You may want to try to find a way to do it anonymously. There have been some people online who've been able to do the testing anonymously. There are a lot of hoops you have to jump through to make that happen, but you may be able to do that. Or you may, you may just elect that, you know, knowing what percentage of what you are isn't worth the risk. So what do you think? You think I'm overly paranoid? Maybe, but if there's a genetic marker for that, you're never gonna know. Let me know what you think about all this. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye for now.